So, all right, so yeah, we had a little bit of technical difficulty because, because of course, once again, this is an alpha, right? So, um, Qbert had to reboot a couple times, but we're, we're back. So, Qbert, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this uh, Ghosts and Goblins and take a look. Okay, I'm going to change some settings that don't work on the XU4 and see if they work well here. Uh, first of all, on the XU4, you have to use it at 1 PSP, uh, 1, 1 X. Um, but I'm going to do the take off this and disable slower effects and see how much it affects it. So no one make judgment on this because we've never tried this before. So we'll find out here in a second. Okay, so that is at 2x with everything high enabled. So now I bet you if we do this here, put it at 1x with everything high enabled. It might actually run good. There you go. Much better. But yeah, you're still going to have to tweak some things out. So let's set it up to this. Yeah, I think that this this series of games anyway will bring most grown men to their knees in tears eventually. I I, I can't play this game barely for anything either. Um, I love watching people that can play it well, but I am just not one of those that uh, like as an example, right? I'll I'll watch it on I've watched it on Cinemassacre, watching them do the different playthroughs of it because they're you know they got the um, the skills and the, and the time to get really good at it but yeah this one chewed too many of my quarters uh, and not making much progress at all in the arcade when I was a kid obviously not the ultimate version but of course the originals see now all of a sudden this thing actually the N2 caught up and now I'm getting like good frame rates for myself although what is it saying up there is it saying 15 or is it saying 30 it's saying 15 of 30. It's a 30 FPS game, isn't it? I don't think it's a 60. Uh, okay, so it's using frame skip one. Okay, gotcha. It might be 60. I don't know. I've never actually looked this one up. But how's the experience? You're saying the experience really isn't bad at all? No, no, it's perfectly playable. I'd be dying even more. I mean, this is actually, you have to be you, head on with your sound, you know, with your shooting and stuff. So. Q, you, you have frame skip on right now? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to change something real quick, though. If you took frame skip, if you took frame skip out, would this thing be? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to test it. Sometimes it, you know what, yeah. sometimes if we do unbuffered rendering and just get to skip frame buffer, this will speed things up big time. And it looks better. Look at it. See, look at that. 
See, like, if you just take off uh, buffering, look how much better it looks. I don't know yeah. if you can see that on our yeah, thing. We can it even looks see so it much through, better. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can even see it through Discord as well. And, it, and it's just so much smoother. Yeah, but it, it's funny a, like, I was noticing, like, a little freeze here and there, and that, that, that's the right. frame skip. Yep. See, now, like, doing it like this, this is the most enjoyable I've had it play. I mean, the way it looks just is awesome, actually. It, it it looks so crisp, but I don't, I don't get it. And now it makes me want to test God of War without frame buffer. So hold on a second. Please uh, entertain me for a second here. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you do without frame buffer, you mm -hmm. lose like the background graphics. So that might be what happens. That's what happens with Chains of Olympus. But let's take well, it off, I mean, skip buffer, and see what happens. Yeah, but you have a more powerful board here, so maybe uh, maybe you'll be presently surprised. I hope so. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Yeah, and what's really intriguing about this, right, is that um, they don't have Whalen going yet, and they don't have Vulcan going yet. So that'll definitely be very interesting to see. I can tell you already right now, it looks better and sound skip at all. And in the video, there's none. Well, let's see. There's no video, though. See? Oh, there it goes. I just tried to skip it. I don't know if it's going to let me skip it. Yeah, see, like, video is not going to work mm -hmm. without buffer mode. Oh, wait a minute, maybe. Yeah, see, non buffer is going to mess up with video. Yeah, so this is just a great example, right, about how, you know, getting these settings, um, especially with PSP anyways, it takes some time and, and you definitely need to be dedicated with it. Although, see, now in gameplay right now? That, that's what if, I bet. I bet in game, great, yeah, it's going to look awesome. see a big yeah. difference. Yeah. So if we have like all the graphics and everything, because you can switch in between. See, like I can switch it watch when we go out there. So, so like just go to game settings now and then just switch it back up to buffered rendering. So we can get through this part and then I'll switch I it. I wonder if you leave the buffer rendering on and the frame skip off. Yeah, let's try it that way. That's what you have now, right? Yeah. See, now it's in the actual thing here, so. Oops. Well, the frame skipping is still on. Yeah, it, was, it has to have a one at least. Well, that's yeah, that's what John was saying. Is, is he was curious yeah. if you, if you did yeah, the if you turned it off completely. Said, turn it off completely. Yeah. There we go. That doesn't look bad. It might catch up here though. <laughs> a second. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna give me a seizure. Thanks, John. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> no, curious. I mean, you never know. Yeah, it wow, looks it like really it's... No, but yeah, it works me. great if we can get rid of that. See, now it's going in-game, in so if it doesn't flicker, that's, that's going to be beautiful. That's what I want to see. I want to see what yeah. happens in-game when you're playing. Yeah, same here. But I can tell you right now, if it runs like this, looking like this... This is non-buffered, no-frame mode. And so if this keeps playing like this, hold on though, I might be jumping the gun. Well, just real quick here too, just yeah, I'm jumping the gun. Wise, See, now it's choking. Yeah. So yeah. wait, hold on though, hold on though. Comparison wise, how demanding is this one compared to Chains of Olympus? Chains of Olympus, I already gave you video of it. It's uh, you can splice it in since you're splicing this video, anyways. I gave you full. It's on the FTP. Um. It's comparable, but this Ghost of Sparta runs better. But now I haven't tried these settings though. Well, I'm just like, talking about like demanding yeah. wise when somebody, you know, from the game engine perspective, right? Which one is more demanding, or are they about roughly the same? Because they're built on the same engine. Uh, I don't know enough to say. Okay. I know you know that Chains of Olympus is like it's one everybody like the tries. one that everybody. There you know, go. Look, look, the frame more. skip one. Look at this, man. Frame skip one, no buffer. Look at this. If we can figure out how to get the video to go right. 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it looks as good as it does here. It looks fast. It is fast. It's, it's even faster than it was before. Turn, do you turn the frame rate on? Because I'm yeah, hold frame on, rate Yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome. Of course, we got to remember with the frame skip on, right? It was it show something out of thirty, or is it so something out of sixty? Yeah. It'll probably show it'll, thirty it'll out of sixty, six, but sixty, I think, yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna run everything without buffer because it seems that the black, like missing stuff, doesn't affect it on this one at least. Yeah, see the see the artifacting artifacting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. See those square pixels, but I think you can get rid of that by doing this. I think there's an option here to uh, lower resolution for effects reduces artifacts. Uh, can't do that. Yeah, I think that's all right. I mean, I think we're um, I think we're probably at a good stopping point with just this this game and this system um so we don't make the the video overly too long it's something you'll definitely have to take a look at but i mean it's def this is definitely showing some great capabilities right so let's let's go ahead and back out cubert and i think uh somebody was asking about n64 i mean let's let's see where that's actually at oh you guys got me on a Never sleep. Oh, never mind. I got pizza coming. Hold on one moment. All right. So we're going to do some N64. Now, hopefully I didn't mess this up because I was playing around with some of the settings earlier. But I wanted to show Cruise in USA because Cruise in USA, if anybody has tried to play it on anything, not the other Cruise in, it's just Cruise in USA is always right. a pain in the neck. It How does it run, Q? It actually runs. No. <laughs> and it actually oh. runs playable. Yeah. No. Yeah, on the NX core. Yeah. So... It's actually really playable. I was really surprised. I was like, holy crap. I don't even believe it. Let's see. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, we got it there. Oh, good. So I didn't really destroy everything. So that's good. Many a night trying to get this thing to run. Right. So... Or, um, See, that's where you would usually choke, right there. Right. Not anymore. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, though. I thought that the NX Core wasn't on this yet. No, this is the NX Core. No, we don't have it on the Pine yet. Oh, okay. All right. On the Pine, yeah. It's on this one, yeah. We have it on this and the XU4. Oh, I wish I could hear. I can't really hear it too well. But... Hold on, let me... Uh... Let me uh, do something here to, to fix that for you. Do I have any mo extra volume coming in there? Yeah, I, I, I can hear it a little louder now. All right, let me... Uh... You should be able to hear this, hopefully. See, like, when it's coming up here, no dip in the music. Right. No dip in the music or slow down. Yeah, Once in a while, cool. there's a little hiccup, yeah. Once in a while, there's a little hiccup, but uh, yeah. Beyond playable compared to everything else that's running out there on SPC, so. That's awesome. 
Yeah, audio I still really can't hear too well, but 